talking to myself again, or to whatever you are. Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Month of Independence, today on the agenda, In Other Waters. In other news, it's time for uh, In Other Waters. Biacle exoplanet extraction, transitioning, please wait. I can't wait. This ought to be exciting. Fellow Traveler presents. I see me choosing not to capture the cursor has applied to this too. Oh well. A jump over the age game. Interesting. Interesting choice of words. Created, designed, and written by Gareth Damien Martin. Sorry if I butchered your first name. I'm bad with names. Music and sound by Amos Roddy. Again, apologies. Additional programming by Chris Payne. Not much to say about that one. In other waters, Gotta be water organisms. Error detected. Well, that's not good. Rebuilding memory. Rebuilding memory. Ha, huh, look at that. Nifty. Look at all those lines of code. Log recovered. User. Disabled. There isn't any time left. You gotta be more stricter than you used to be. You are resourceful. I know you. I'm sorry, okay? But I can't let them find you. I can't lose everything we've achieved. User disconnected. Continue with boot. Click. Booting. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Hello? Is someone there? This is Dr. Ellery Vass. I urgently need all systems of the suit activating. I've been locked out, and I'm 20 meters below the surface here. I say again, this is Dr. Ellery Vass. Can any operator person personas on this suit please respond? I'll respond. All right, good. Ap operator, activate all systems. Pilot authorized granted. Scan plus topography. Utility. Okay, utilities available. Let's see. Sampling, sample storage, terminal, and retrieval seem to be installed. Power. The, the power panel is activating plenty of juice. Oxygen panel's up and rebreather functioning. I'm off reserve oxygen now. I'm seeing the heading panel coming online. Excellent. Okay, good. The dive panel is active. Currently reading of 20 meters. Scan and topography readouts coming through. Looking good. Oh, okay, I see. You don't seem to know what you're doing. You're not an operator, are you? I don't believe you. Operators are little more than voice-activated system dialogues. They don't respond like this. I knew there was something strange about this suit when I got inside. It looks decades old. Look, we don't have time for this, so whatever program or system you are, I need you to work with me. You seem to respond to voice commands, so that's a start. I... We... Need to head north. I'll explain once we get going, but right now I'm locked out of half the systems of the suit. Someone, somehow, has rewritten the permissions to only respond to eternal messaging. That means you. So I'm gonna need you to take control. Let's get moving. Take me north. Into the reef. Please. Okay, I'll try. Is that how you do it? Southern Gully. Steep rock walls rise up towards the surface on either side. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. So how do I take you there? Because I have no idea how to take you there. Ah, oh, here we go. Vector clear. Ah, that's how we do it. 
this is out. Good. Whatever you are doing, it's working. Please, let's keep heading north. Okay. Fair enough. Assuming that's how you do it. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Ever. Ah, here we go. You just do that. There we go. I'll just keep scanning forward. And that should tell me where to go. Ah, good. This is simple. Gully opening. Vector clear. I'll get you out of here. No time flat, lady. Or maybe that's presumptuous. Softly flowing water is filled with glittering particles of organic matter. Signs of rich and thriving life all around. Vector clear. You did say you wanted to go look in the water. Are those spores? And those stalks to the west, they look like huge fungi. This is... unbelievable. Actual alien life. How could Mina have kept this place a secret? I saw her notes at the base when I landed and some telltale signs and approach, but here it is. The first extraterrestrial life humanity has ever discovered. I can't believe it. Okay, believe it. Believe it, sister. Bed of stalks, fungal creature made up of a series of stalks and plates attached to the rock. These stalks are beautiful. I wonder how they feed, how they grow, how they communicate. The color ranges from dark amber to acidic yellow. Well, you want to see them up close? This place is planted. needs to be studied. Keep scanning creatures and I'll keep notes. This creature's external membrane appears to be made of layers of chitin, like Earth's anthropods or fungi. Once we've gotten enough data, I can name and log each species. No matter what happens here. Okay, I should probably head forward. So, the game crashed and took OBS with it, which is ever so lovely. No, really, I love it when that happens. Can't you tell? And now, for some reason, OBS isn't capturing it. Let's see if we can change that. Maybe if I just capture directly. Right now, it's just on capture any application. Let's specify in other waters. Okay. Oh, never mind. Um, it still has problems. Apologies. Did not expect this would happen. Transform. Stretch. Could have just pressed Control S. I did not know that was an option. Apologies. Bed of stocks. Right, I've already scanned that. I was about to do this. I guess it's a good thing the game at least kept my progress. What were those creatures? They were hidden among the stocks. Quickly, try to get a scan. Agile creatures, striped with luminous colors. These flexible, flapping creatures move rapidly through the water with little effort. These are such lively creatures and so colorful, too. I'll start logging my observations. I guess it's, uh, tell not show. Complex patterns of contracting and expanding slits in the stock's membrane, mouths, or sensing organs? I get this in any game, but it's still a shame that you can't see anything that's being described, but I guess that's the point. These stocks are covered in spores of all sizes. Perhaps we can sample one of the larger ones? Maybe. Who knows? These colonies are producing a shifting hum. Perhaps it is a form of communication between individuals. I'm seeing spores entering and exiting the slits on the surface of the stock. Something is being exchanged. Oh, I can't move forward. Guess I gotta keep scanning. What is it that dictates the reef's growing pattern? Sunlight, the flow of water, whatever it is, it must be absent here. Right, perhaps I should scan everything. Here to maneuver with a series of siphon jets concealed beneath their folded mandibles, they are incredibly fast. That's lovely. Fortunately, it does not help me at all. Hello, we aren't going anywhere until you take a sample. How do I take a sample? Close the two clamps, then extract it. Okay. Is this how I take a sample? 
Fungal, 5%, seed. I see, that's it. We got one. Biological samples are vital tools for analyzing and understanding creatures. But this suit should also allow you to deploy any sample back to the, into the ocean. How about you test it out? Hold and drag it over to the central compass. Okay. Fair enough. Great, that's working as it should. Look, the, those creatures are coming from the spores. Why those one in particular, I wonder? Perhaps different spores carry different compounds, each with a specific purpose or message. What do you think? Could the spores be a way of communicating between different colonies? I'm gonna say yeah. It isn't that strange. Fungi and Earth form networks of exchange. Maybe these stalks do the same. Anyway, sorry, I'm not sure why I... Let's keep moving. Good. Can we keep moving forward now? Thank you. Vector clear. Hey, can I ask you something? I've worked with AI programs before, but you aren't like them. They are predictable, programmable, dull. Their intelligence allows them to log and process data, that's all. But you, you are different. I feel like you are alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Then you are different. I'm glad I'm not just imagining it. But what are you? What are you doing in this suit? I have no idea. The current running into the reef blows here, but further north the water whips down the rift with incredible speed. You did want me to continue going north, so let's go north. Colonies seem to be broken up into individual patches and then larger groups over a wide area. This arch is covered in hardened stalks. Perhaps the slow current passing through brought their spores to settle here. Wide and long, with sheer rock walls on either side, this deep rift channels unpredictable currents. Probably want to go this one then. Slow current. It'll be easier to navigate. Plus more spores. Man, that might be beneficial. Static creatures made up of one huge flexible stalk. Unclear if swaying is due to current or is produced by the stalk's own body. These huge stalks are incredible, each one a v vertical ecosystem. They're licking spores of the water as the fruiting bodies attach to their skin bloom. Okay, cool. Fungal creature, which communicates through sounds and spores. I'm uploading my initial notes. Let's call these reef stalks. We can classify the species in the lab. An interlocking ecosystem seated across the reef. Data gathered. Neat. Many of these stalks are leaking particles into the water as they sway. Are these spores or something else? Hmm. These larger stalks sway all around the basin. They almost resemble branchless trees banding in a storm. Nifty. Well, let's keep going north then. Did you see that? The stalks respond to our movement. They expand, extended as we pass through the arc. Perhaps it was the sound we made when we moved through? We should be careful not to get trapped in here. This suit's power capacity is limited. Possibly. The shitin of the stock's membrane is very hard, but flexibility is given by a surface of overlapping plates. There's a lot of activity among the rocks ahead. Creatures are grazing on and living among the stocks, forming a complex ecosystem. Yeah, it's better not get trapped indeed. Look, over the southwest. That stock is totally calcified. Looks like a good sample candidate. Let's see, the plates of the stock service must be producing the distinctive humming that can be heard. These growths get heavier as we travel north in the stock force. Something about giving it that name makes it feel safer, more familiar. These creatures must be related to the other stocks in the reef but seem to have a separate purpose to the lower beds. This must be the one. Safe to assume the singing of the stalks related to the communication between the colonies seen elsewhere on the reef. This huge stalk is totally still, it's placed hardened into a rocky shell. Can it be revived? Or is that what death looks like here? Shelled creature, mobile creature with a large translucent shell, and four swimming appendages which it uses in rapid motion. I'll start logging data as soon as we find them. Okay. Thanks for that. Let's uh, sample this. What the hell? No, oh right, that's just a place. My bad. Okay. Hmm. I 
thought that was how you sampled things. Or am I wrong? She said southwest. And that would be southwest. So I don't know. Oh, look at that. These creatures glide along the reef stalks with great care and precision. They appear to be grazing on them. Fungal creature. Fungal creature. Seeing these stalks. Right, let's... Vector blocked. Fair enough. Should I go back here? sure where the best spot is. Oh. I can't go any further this way, can I? Overgrown arch, vector blocked. That's a shame. There we go. That actually makes things a little faster than just scanning it and then clicking on it. Oh, okay. Here we go. See, I'm just being dumb. The stock looks dead. Open up the sampling panel and we can extract some of the outer membrane. A lot of dead material here, so we should be able to take multiple samples. Very well, then. No problem. How was that? Okay, so the chitin appears to be hardened with calcium carbonite. This could be useful when we need to boost our power. The space between the rocks here is thick with stalks. The elaborate patterns they trace across the reef are beautiful. Able to metabolize organic compounds to produce fuel, just drag them to the power panel. So it displays how much oxygen or power each sample can produce. No point wasting important samples. With these, we can keep one sample so we can analyze it back at base and use the other one for a power boost. Sounds fun. Fungal, 50%. Okay, cool. Very nice. I guess I'll take a second one then. There we go. And of course, no one, no other ones because I found the only two. Okay, large stalks which sway, producing a distinctive hum or groan, part of the network or stalks. I've named these seeing stalks for that strange hum they produce. What is its precise function, I wonder? I have no idea. Let's go that way. Interesting. That creature is swaying back and forth. It's pretty cool. Okay. The rocks here are clear of stalks and other growths. Is their absence a territorial marker or just a side effect of the condition of these waters? I'm sure if I go over there, I'll survive. I'll be fine. Hey, yeah, probably not, but I can say I am. What's this creature? Flitting around, the, flitting around the reef, these creatures chase stock spores with great enthusiasm. Is this a primary food source, agile creature? A large camera drops down to the reef here. Its entrance is shadowed by the surrounding rocks. Well, sounds like a place for us to party down in, huh? <laughs> I'm probably gonna die. Or my, the character that I'm controlling, the steering, is probably gonna die. Southern Cavern. Water is still in the yawning entrance to the cavern. There are no signs of stocks or other reef-like around the substance entrance. In other words, dead man's land. Let's go there. Immediately. Oh. Oh, I see. Now I'm inside the cavern. Stock patches, the patchy sunlight coming through the broken cavern roof is enough to grow allow stocks to grow here. If that is what they require. Who knows? Southern Cavern. There we go. And what do we have here? A tall bubble coated stock which sits among reef stock colonies covered in wide irising pores. These tall stocks seem to watch over the smaller colonies. I'll start logging notes. You do that. Soft sunlight spills down onto a long, thin stalk, stretching towards the light. A coating of large, glassy bubbles glitters on its skin. 
Stocks mesh across the cavern here, hardened into a near solid wall of tubes and plates. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Let's take a sample. If you know what I mean. Give me all them samples, baby. Yeah. These gaseous bubbles are intriguing. The interior gas is at an elevated pressure. If this membrane ruptured, the sac would screech as it depressured. That sounds horrifying. Is this part of the stuck communication system we've seen across the reef? Wait, I have an idea. Try deploying one by that block tunnel over there. I want to see how the stocks react. Just drag one over. Okay. Clog tunnel. Okay, then. Ah, oh, look at that. Vector cleared. They retracted. These bubbles must be some kind of signal system. I'll call them shrill sacks for that squeak. We can use these to get through the heavy growth ahead. Awesome. Sounds amazing. This cavern curves away in both directions here. It's hard to see the way ahead. Now let's see what else is awaiting us in this adventure. So I guess you're wondering where we are headed. There's a way station just north of here on a finger of this reef. I want to find it. My shuttle touched down just hours ago at a floating research base to the south. That's where I found the suit. I'm here looking for, uh, for Dr. Mina Nomura, chasing a message all the way from Earth. I must sound mad, coming out here to a planet in the tail of Scorpius just to follow a message. Wait, you... Do you know where we are? Do you know where we are, don't you? Nope, not at all. But... How? We are on Glyce667CC, a supposedly unmarked world, if it wasn't for all this life. Somehow the exoplanet extraction corps must have passed it by. But how did Mina know to come here? Is that why she contacted me to verify her discovery? But then where is she? Look, let's find that way station, then I can start piecing together what's going on. Good idea. Well, I'm gonna move over there now. Let's keep going forward, I guess. And scan the area. And once again, a current can be fell. felt drifting through the cavern entrance, bringing with it warm clouds of silt. Sounds beautiful. What do we have here? Ah, that's how you enter it. Nifty! Stocks of this kind seem to produce different bubbles depending on the nearby stocks. They are the protectors to their colonies. This thin stock sits among a bed of other growths, ex exuding bright bubbles through its pores. Coolio. Unseen pre process is shaping the growth patterns of this reef. What invisible borders am I crossing? Time to go into the danger zone, my friend. The scattered boulders and steep rifts of the southern reef suggest a violent geological past. Well, let's go into it. <laughs> anyway, scanning away. Ah, oh, look at that. Unlike the other specimens, this large stock sits alone away from the lower beds. And it's hard to tell if this is the beginning of a colony or its end. Nifty. Very nifty indeed. Let's scan the area. The stocks are much more sparse between these rock outcrops. This might be the easiest path north if I can clear the way. Alright. Luckily I've got two of these shriek sacks that my character calls them. The stocks are thick here. A sea of amber waving fingers that must be cleared before we can pass here. Right. Let's try this. Bingo, baby! I are so smart. I are so smart. SMRT. Navigating these dense growths is like finding your way in a labyrinth, moving from clearing to clearing with little sense of what's ahead. In other words, fun. Now let's see. The growth patterns of the stock suggest a complex territorial network. Are we underestimating the complexity of these life forms? 
Bubbles like huge pearls glint along the stalks. How do the tall stalks produce these strange screeching sacks? Some creatures target these tall stalks directly, perhaps because they keep them away from the other softer stalks nearby? You know, let's go over here. Get some more sacks. Uh. Let's steal more of the freaking sacks. Because, you know, that's a... Definitely not a weird thing for me to have said just now. Steal all their sacks. Of gas, presumably. Yes. Anyway. Let's clear it out. That's more like it. See, isn't that better? A delicate set of feeding appendages beneath the creature's shell seems to scrape the outer membranes of the stalks away. Tall bubble producing stalks that protect and monitor stalk colonies, a key part of the stalk network that stretches. I'm gonna call these signal stalks for the signaling role they play in the stalk e ecology. Okay, cool. More bubble producing stalks, are they century designed? Centuries designed for early warnings or last ditch defenses of the colony core? I'm just gonna keep sampling. Because why the hell not at this point? Why the hell not indeed? May as well just indulge or whatever. I wonder if I can use these for power. That would be nice. Did that actually increase my power at all? East and west are stocks as far as the eye can see. They fade off in the silt like the towers of a miniature city. That's cool. Let's just keep going forward. We move forward. Sports from the stocks seem to be massing here in large clumps. Might be a good place to sample them. Occasionally when the creature scalps the stocks too aggressively, they retract and let out a defensive signal to nearby colonies. There seems to be some tolerance for the creature scraping by the stocks. They only warn the creature when it cuts too deeply. Fair enough. I guess we don't want to rock the boat or whatever. Sampling available. Bingo. Now we are certainly talking. Pop, pop, and got. Okay. There we go. Oh, it is increasing it a little bit. And I do mean a little bit. Well, you know, better than nothing. Look at that. These creatures aggressively pursue certain spores but ignore others completely. Can they detect differences in mineral content? The relationship between these creatures and stock is unclear, but they camouflage themselves among the amber colonies. Neat. I think that's kind of neat. Don't you? Well, you forget you. Forget you indeed. Last line of thick stalks before the sandy plains of the central reef. Take this. You weirdo. Trying to stop me? That's it, we are through. This place is overwhelming. So many new species. This is the central reef. I saw on Mino's maps that the shell, shell flattens out here. Cool. Does that mean full speed ahead? Ripples of silt bounce sunlight back up through the water, giving it a golden glow. Sounds cool. Now we just keep going forward. The center of the reef is rock and f flat and sandy with few rocks to attach to the stalks struggle to see these waters. Right. Fair enough. Ooh, is this what I'm looking for? There it is. I see the way station ahead. Bitchin'. Let's do it. Let's see if she, she's probably not alive, but hey. The way station in question. This place looks a little worse for wear. Let me see if I can find an excess port. Mina never did take care of her equipment. Some things never change. Sorry. Give me a sec. I'm just trying to. Got it. Okay. We should be able to access any data stored here. Just open the terminal and take a look. Terminal available. Oh, I see. Link. Map data. Oh, look at that. 
you can actually get map data and get more power and oxygen. Logs have been cleared, I expected that, given the security Mina seems to be operating under. But the map data mentions something Mina calls the Bloom out across the Northern Rift. She's been going back and forth to something here, studying it. A unique species, perhaps? Mina, what were you doing here? Why were you keeping this discovery from the world? For me? I'm talking to myself again, or to whatever you are. Sorry, I don't mean... Let's head back to the research base, I need to think. With this way station operational, we can call in the base's retrieval drone from the utility panel. This drone will be able to pick us up from any area we've got map data for. Let's head to the base, I've got a lot to figure out. Okay. Connecting. Drone ready. Unfortunately, I am over my time limit here. So, I'm gonna have to say, safe mode, resyncing with Biacle OS, downtime 4.2 hours. That's fine. Hey, are you back online? Yeah. Pretty sharp work for a biologist if I do say so myself. Looking at that strange casing of yours at the base took some work. And the OS here does not play nicely with whatever you are. But you should have access to select subsystems of the stack now. Mina looks to have repurposed some of them, so not everything is functional. Comms are shot, the generator is only partially working, and one of the retrieval drones is missing. But I booted up the dive bay's mapping systems and sample storage. The lab is also in line with analysis tools and an integral taxonomy for logging creatures. Take a look, I've already logged the creatures we discovered on our last dive. Pretty log creatures also put sample requests in their text and uh, taxonomy entries. To fulfill these requests, just find and transfer the samples to the lab, then analyze them. I can use that data to add to the creature study. We need to register these species. Head down to the lab level and take a look. I'll also mark sample requests on the dive map. That way we can grab key samples for our studies while we're out in the ocean. And we are going back out soon. While you were online, I offline, I spotted a signal, a suit transponder. You can see its location on the dive map. I want to find it. A suit transponder means a suit, and a suit means Mina. I'll need your help. That suit takes both of us to pilot, and that's the only one I've got. Once you're done exploring the base, load into the dev dive map, we can head out from there. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you're a true gaming junkie, then feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get your next fix. See you next time. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.